Hi guys, today we will unbox, assemble and test the brand new TiVo Flash 3D printer. There are a couple of assembly versions and some upgrade combinations available. You can get the printer 50% built or 98% built and add upgrades such as drivers, dual Z motor and BL touch sensor. The printer that we will show you today is the fully upgraded N98% built. It comes packed in a 50 cm by 33 cm by 46 cm box. The 50% built flash version comes packed in a smaller size box. And inside you can also find the instruction manual, the power cable, a spatula, a bag with screws for the end stop sensors, a bag with tools and an SD card, a bag with screws for the frame, a bag with the springs and nuts for the heat bed, and the USB cable. As usual, the printer comes fully protected with plenty of foam. Let's start by carefully taking the top half. As you can see, the dual Z option includes a second Z motor and both are linked with a belt on the top. The two motors work well without the belt, but the belt is there to keep both motors in sync. I like that idea and especially because there are many times where we need to move them manually and this way we can without messing with the sync of both axes. Next, let's remove the bottom half. Carefully take the heat bed out. The bed is AC, same as the Tornado, and is made of insulation material, followed by a thermal pad, an aluminum sheet, and finally a 3mm ceramic glass. I'm a fan of AC beds. They are super fast and very stable. This one heats up 25 degrees C to 65 degrees C in just a couple of minutes. All the main electronics are on the back side under this red panel. To access the main electronics, you need to remove the top 5 screws, also the 8 screws at the back, remove the Y axis end stop sensor, the display flat cables, and the Y axis motor connection. also need to release some of the frame screws on one side. And then pull the enclosure out. Inside you can see the MKS Gen L board with the TMC2100 drivers, the power supply and the solid state relay. I didn't want to change the VREFs on the drivers just yet because I want to test the printer as is. Before assembling anything, you need to do a couple of checks. One of them is the Y axis belt tension. Check if the tension is ok and if not, adjust the front idler.
Next, check the bed carriage for play. If you have any play, adjust the two eccentric nuts under the carriage. Now, assemble the top half. You need the four big screws to secure the top frame. Make sure it's well tightened. Install the heat bed. Use the springs and the nuts. Load the springs a bit. If your heat bed has a voltage sticker, check if it's the correct one for your country. Connect both Z motors extruder motor the X motor connect the BL touch sensor cable the hot end cable Install the X axis and stop sensor. And finally the power cable. Don't forget to check all the wheels. You have adjustable eccentric nuts here, here and here. Do an overall check before your first power on. In my case, I found that the top red plates that secure the lead screw bearings were not square and were forcing the lead screws. The screws from the frame were not completely screwed in, but I couldn't tighten them more so I had to get some shims and raise the plates over the screws. And now they are square. TiVo is aware of this and it will make sure that the next printers don't have this issue. I also noticed that the nozzle was screwed against the heat block instead of the heat break. I have a video already where I explain how to troubleshoot leaks and clogs and I explain this in detail. The procedure is the same for this printer, so check the video description for the link. Now you can turn the power on. On the splash screen, you can see the firmware version and to which upgrades it is set up to. Move each axis by hand and confirm that the end stops are working correctly. Now you can run the home all axis sequence. Level the bed with a 0.1 thick paper on all four corners. If you have a BL touch sensor, which is located behind the hot end, run the bed leveling sequence. 
the sensor will probe nine times over the bed and create a mesh which is like a map of the bed shape. Now you are ready to print. For the first prints I will be using Easy Print filament from Prima. TiVo does not include a spool holder, so if you are wondering where you can get one, you have a G-code in your SD card with a spool holder from TiVo or you can print mine. Check the video description for the link. You can print directly on this glass and it sticks fairly well, but since I don't want to get my shiny glass bed dirty, I will be using masking tape. Since the hot end includes a couple of blowers for layer cooling, I decided to print my own stress test. Aside from the retraction settings that I was still adjusting in the slicer, the results were even better than what I was expecting. The cube turned out very good and the hanging area is excellent. I also printed a few vases and as you can see the surface is very good. The TMC drivers make the motors run very silent. You can only hear the fans working. And these fans make much less noise when compared with the ones from the Tornado. This is not a printer review yet. I prefer to use it for a while and gather more experience and information until I publish my final review. One thing I'm sure is that this printer is very beautiful and I believe it will be a top seller. And that's it you guys, hope you liked this video, as always don't forget to hit like and if you are not a subscriber feel free to subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on my Facebook page. If you like my work and wish to help you can with Patreon and Paypal. We will see you guys next time, bye!